Hello again, it's Tubal Cain. I wanted to talk a little bit more about uh, threads and the various kind of threads that we use in machine shop and manufacturing that you're going to see around the shop and, and uh, the home. And you know, threads are so terribly important uh, in everything that is made or manufactured or in what you do in your shop. Uh, and that's why I'm devoting so much time to it. And there's going to be several more videos yet that will be devoted to threads and uh, if you look back through my other videos or videos you will see several others that talk about threads and I just completed one on pipe threads but yet I'm going to mention something about pipe threads right now but uh, the most common thread that you're going to run into in the United States is the common V form of thread 60 degree thread and I'm going to get back to these in a few minutes I want to cover some of the more uh, uh, uncommon ones first. All right, here's common uh, pipe threads that you see in uh, every home and every shop. Uh, the unique thing about uh, pipe threads is that they are tapered. I think it even shows up here. And there'll be several still pictures in this uh, video also showing uh, these threads uh, in pictorial views but the tapered thread uh, the male connected with the uh, female and then uh, with pipe dope in there gives a, a real good seal so that's the unique thing about uh, pipe threads and I do have uh, a video showing how to make pipe threads so I'm not going to mention too much more or I'm not going to mention anything more about uh, pipe threads right now. They, they of course come in many different sizes. Another kind of thread that you don't see real often anymore is a square thread, not to be confused with an acme. And a square thread uh, is difficult to cut uh, and it was commonly used in uh, jacks of various kinds. And here's a real old uh, house jack and that uses a square thread and uh, you can do a lot of lifting with a square thread uh, or an acme thread as opposed to a V thread. They do not tend to bind. You're not going to see these uh, very often but you ought to know that the square form is different than the 29 degree acme form. Acme threads are 29 degrees in uh, their shape and uh, come in any size you can imagine but these are the screws that you're going to see on uh, lathes and milling machines uh, to transfer uh, power and turn it into different kinds of motion. Uh, these Acme threads do not tend to bind like a V thread and uh, you're going to see them well you don't always see them but we know there's Acme threads in the compound in the cross slide here and they uh, are to compound uh, the difficulty here they are left hand uh, acme threads here and here and over on the atlas lathe on the lead screw you can also see uh, acme threads on this little speed vise you're seeing yet uh, one other type of thread form that isn't uh, seen very often it's called a buttress thread a buttress thread and uh, most of those are 45 degrees and uh, this will lift right out of uh, the nut and they kind of uh, fast forward in now watch this I can just pull on the jaws and it'll move in however you won't be able to pull it out and these will get uh, very uh, they transmit motion uh, the tightness only in one direction and when you tighten that up, of course, then it's locked into that nut. I can't think of any other applications where I have seen uh, the buttress thread other than this particular vise called a speed vise, made in America. Real nice little vise made by the Cardinal Company. I'm holding just a common thread here right now, but I wanted to talk briefly about a Whitworth thread. Whitworth threads uh, basically look like a regular American thread, but they are uh, 
55 degrees instead of 60 degrees and uh, if you've ever run across uh, old motorcycles or old British cars uh, that use those threads you know that you couldn't possibly buy uh, repair parts other than from a dealer and uh, their drill, their taps and their dies of course were a different form. I'm not sure if they still use those over there in, in England but they were uh, a nightmare. Also the heads on those bolts uh, required a Whitworth wrench so if you ever worked on those old Triumphs or BSAs you know you might still be cursing those. Also if you've ever made some of the Stuart models, steam engine models, they used uh, smaller threads, uh, model threads and the real small sizes and they were BA threads which stood for the British uh, Association and uh, they were uh, troublesome also. Now I'm going to talk here about 10 minutes about threads but if you look at your uh, machinist handbook you're going to see about 75 pages that are devoted to threads and I can't cover all that nor do I know everything about all of these threads but there's just an awful lot of information about threads and the geometry of them which is really more of an engineering thing because we just accept what the engineers have uh, designed for us.